we're asked to write out the matrix equation that represents the system of equations. Notice here we have three equations with three unknowns. When representing a system of equations using a matrix equation, we always have three matrices where we have the coefficient matrix times the variable matrix equals the constant matrix. Now looking at the system of equations, notice how all the like terms are lined up vertically. So if we want to keep the terms in the same order, we would complete the coefficient matrix here by looking at the left side of these three equations. So looking at the first equation on the left side, notice how the coefficients are one, negative nine, and three, which is the first row of the coefficient matrix. Looking at the second equation, the second row of the matrix would be negative two, positive 16, and negative five. Looking at the third equation, the third row of the coefficient matrix would be two, negative 21, and positive seven. Now for the variable matrix, because the variables are in the order of X, C, and R, this gives us the variable matrix, which is a column matrix. It would be X, C, and R. Notice how if we multiply this first row and this first column, we would have one X minus nine C plus three R, which does give us the left side of this first equation. So the product of these two matrices gives us the left side of these three equations. And we determine the constant matrix by looking at the right side of the three equations. The constant matrix is the column matrix with elements 150, 300, and 400. Let's look at another example. Same question, write out the matrix equation that represents the system of equations. But notice how here we are missing some terms. Notice how the variables are y, a, and u. Let's go ahead and fill in the missing terms. So notice how this first equation does not have an a term. Let's go ahead and write plus zero a. Notice how the second equation doesn't have a y term. So let's write zero y. And the third equation doesn't have a y term or a u term. So let's write zero y minus a plus zero u. This will make it easier to complete the coefficient matrix. So looking at the left side of these three equations, let's complete the coefficient matrix, which notice how would be one, zero, negative two for the first row. The second row would be zero, negative four, one. The third row would be zero, negative one, zero. So notice how for any missing terms, the coefficient is always zero. Now because we kept the terms in the same order, for the variable matrix, going down the column, we would have y, a, and u. Again, if we were to multiply this row and this column, we'd have one y plus zero a minus two u, which does give us the left side of this first equation. So the product of these two matrices gives us the left side of these three equations. And now on the right side of the equal sign, we have the constant matrix, which going down the column would be 150, 400, and 300. So this is how you set up a matrix equation when we have a system of three equations with three unknowns. I hope you found this helpful.